check this out, man. We got steam rising from the water right now. I don't know if you guys can appreciate that or not. But that is that transition from summer, from summer to fall. And that's that lake breathing right now, cooling down. All those cool temperatures tonight, last night have are making this, this lake absolutely steam up. And it's fantastic. That means that water temperature is going down. That bite's going to go up. And today, we're going to put a lot of fish in the boat this morning. We're early morning. You can even hear it in my voice. We're so early. And uh, we're going to have a bluebird day. It's a little overcast over there. But regardless, I think we're going to put a ton of fish in the boat. We're going to have a fall. I love this time of the year. It really tells me that the bite's uh, on its way for the fall. And uh, it's just a fantastic time. So if you're interested in guide trips, get a hold of me. 3 fishing at gmail.com. Let's do this. There's a beautiful looking pile coming there. Ooh, we're gonna stay back, cast with the hammer tin right here. Hmm. Let them go. First fish of the day. Small little eater. Did eat though. Good fish here, guys. Wow. Great fish. Hmm. Bam. Let's talk about it. We're gonna let them go. Beautiful fish though. Start the morning off. There it goes. So we're fishing with a 132nd ounce jig and what I do is I keep an assortment. Now on the website, let's see if I can get you guys straight. On the website there's what's called the Let's Go Fishing Packs. Check those out. Because they're just a smaller version of this. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has every, here we go. Every single color that's available. But on those Let's Go Fishing Packs, you have all the uh, 132nd ounce. It's a mixture of 132nd and 116. And they're really simple and easy. And there's even like a mega Let's Go Fishing Pack that includes the plastics. All those are so simple just to bring and throw them in your boat and you're good to go for crappie fishing. Um, fishing, of course, with the Hammer 10. As you guys know, that is my own rod it's also available on the website it is the best 10 footer it's a i call it a broomstick because baby it's it, it's stout it's stiff it's perfect and super sensitive for all those bites i think you guys are going to love it sold out once already um, and we've got it back and we're going to sell out again without a doubt once we get to the shows so but check that out great christmas ideas you know you, this early you don't tend to think about christmas but it's it's legit so what I'd like to do is try some hair jigs. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, we're actually going to change out one of these rods to a hair jig. And we're going to see if that works. And I think we're going to go with the winter crappie hair jig. This is available on the website too. So let's start off with that guy and then let's see where it takes us. Um, there's a quite assortment that we can try, but we're going to start off with that guy. freaking hammered it and he liked it still that is the winter crappie jig guys vertical fishing for the hair jig let's see if that's gonna work right there there's the jig is that's the if, if that's the secret I, I like it i love the winter crappie jig man that's a great hair jig beautiful picture right there let them go though Oh baby, come back a little bit for that plastic. I've been fishing with the hair jig, not as much action with the hair jig, but the plastic still has got a lot of action. That's a good solid fish. Fishing some higher structure, getting a little higher up in the water column is what I mean. Um, I don't 
don't know if that's a thing yet or not, but I'm trying just a little bit of everything. We got water temperature all the way back down to 75 right here on this part of the lake. Um, this is, you know, that's, that's great water temperature. Um, so I'm starting to explore some, maybe some shallower stuff this time of year right now. Oh wow, they're just all over it. Which could be another tactic during this time frame. I think, you know, the tactics for crappie in the transitional period of summer to fall, you know, trying all these different depths, brush piles. I know it takes time, but boy, once you zone in on it, then, you know, Lake is your oyster. Boy, we keep getting hit. Now there are gonna be a lot of bluegills out here, but this is this lake, this this spot here seems to have a lot of good solid marks on it. You can see it right there on the screen, guys. Just sit back and relax. Now guys, primarily what I'm using is the asteroid. You can see that black braid. Um, that and the Comet, those two are the, the two 10 pounds from Sniping Braid that I use now every single time. Those are the only two. Um, if I go to a lake like Darbone where we just came back from or Grenada, then the optimized 10 pound is perfect or the Meteor. Um, for those heavy hitters, the guys that really want to go crazy, that powerhouse and the lightning are, are perfect for that as well. But for me personally, when I'm casting and I think just adds incredible sensitivity to the ability to catch a really light bite these 10 pounds these comet the asteroid are fantastic the you know a lot of people always you know they, they don't want the high vis they think the fish is seeing i don't believe in that um, but it does give me a certain level another level of confidence when i've got the asteroid on um, but i have no problem i use the i use the comet all the time and i love seeing the line on top of the water um, so when i can't find my bait right off the bat on the screen I can identify where that braid is on the water. You, you will not see the asteroid. The asteroid is absolutely blacked out and you cannot, you can barely see it. Um, but the comet you can see on top of the, on the water and it makes it easier for you to line up your, your trolling motor to it really quick. That's probably my absolute go-to, the comet. Uh, but when I got a really finicky bite, I like the, the, the favor of the asteroid. But to be quite honest with you, I don't, one or the other i don't think it really matters i don't i don't truly believe that the fish can see braid i think if they're going to eat they're going to eat so well kind of long-winded there but uh i just wanted to guys give you a feel now there is a couple of these 200 series reels left i think we got like two of them left um so if you're interested in the smaller 200 series reel go for it otherwise these thousand series are out and they're freaking hot smoking hot the black mat the the, the black and, and maroon um, just absolutely a great carbon fiber reel. Absolutely top quality. I think you guys will like them. All of them are priced the exact same, doesn't matter. There we go, guys. Slab, baby. Back on that winter crappie jig, guys. Check it out on the website. You're going to love it. Right there. Solid eater. Beautiful fish. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. There he goes. That was perfect. I hope you guys saw that. You can see it all the way up in the water column. That was awesome. So anyway, we're going to let you go right there. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Do me a favor and subscribe and share the video. I don't ask enough. Um, we're going to be putting content out all through the winter, all through these shows, all that good stuff. And I appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy, guys.